Welcome to Evanston, Illinois, a vibrant college town and quick escape from the city center. It bloomed from mostly uninhabited wetlands and some semi-permanent settlements of native Potawatomi. It was then founded by Methodist business leaders in 1857 and grounded in very conservative thinking, even supporting the prohibition movement back in the day. It has slowly evolved into a somewhat diverse and refreshingly lush city with a very strong sense of community and just about 14 miles from downtown Chicago. Today, we'll give you a tour around town, focusing on what to do and eat while you're here. All right, guys, so Marie and I and Nico have been living in Evanston for about a year, and I know we haven't shown you much, but today we're gonna change that. We're gonna show you some of our favorite spots here in Evanston. Let's start with the Lad Arboretum. Yeah, so around the Ecology Center, there's this really nice pathway that you can walk on that we've been walking on. And I think it extends for a few miles because I did see a two mile marker. So it probably goes further down. We're not doing it because uh, Nico's a little bit cranky. So we might just walk a little bit more and then take him home because I think he wants to take a nap. But this is a really cool area. I saw that they have a fire pit uh, or what looks like a fire pit down there. Really nice area, especially if you like uh, being in nature and stuff. It's great that uh, there's cities and villages that have these uh, areas for people, right? Here's another spot that we frequent quite a bit. The Evanston's Farmer's Market usually runs from May to November and it's open from 7.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. It has something like 60 local vendors with a good selection of fruits, veggies, meats, specialty items, and so much more. Great way to get your Saturday started. Next, we have Centennial Park, which is connected to other areas of interest. Good spot to plan a picnic, relax by the pond, and maybe read a book. They have some festivals here every once in a while too. Just a short walk away, you also have a pier with a very nice view of the beach and Northwestern University. Speaking of the beach, it's right next to it and it's part bird sanctuary as well. To enter Clark Street Beach, there's an admission fee of $12 per person, but it's certainly one of the nicest beaches in the area. You can also get a season pass. When we're here, we also like to stroll along Northwestern's waterfront where you can look at the sailboats and take in the different views of the university or the city skyline. If you feel like walking a little more, why not check out the university campus as well? Northwestern was established in 1851 to serve the historic Northwest Territory and it's the oldest chartered university in Illinois. Two very cool attractions inside the university are its observatory, for which you can schedule a tour. Then there's also the Shakespeare Garden with its secret garden-like vibes. With so much walking, you might want to grab a cup of joe and some pastries and Evanston is perfect for that. There are so many cool coffee shops to choose from, like Newport right on Davis Street. Another favorite one that we've featured before is Coffee Lab. It's a great spot to work and their Asian flavored treats are excellent. Another popular one is Cupitol, which gives us the European vibes and their pastries are also excellent. Also on Davis, you'll find Patisserie Coralie, a French coffee shop that is super popular. We've come here for breakfast and they have a pretty affordable and carb heavy menu in a good way. And finally, Hune for ridiculously great bread, sandwiches and pastries. If you need more than a cup of coffee, 
we've got you too. There are almost too many options to choose from, but we'll, again, give you some of our faves. One that we featured before is Who's Your Mama? with amazing sweet and savory pies that are good for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Another old school favorite is Charmaine Grill. We always look for a good diner and this one stole our hearts. Excellent food at affordable prices and they make our little one feel right at home. For a quick bite, we love the salvos, which we've featured before. They have amazing pizza and focaccia sandwiches. There's also a Sea Ranch if you're craving sushi. And for takeout, we love to order the mutt plate from Heckey's. Or you could also go for the chicken from the Chicken Shack. Finally, we have to share with you a Korean restaurant called Soban, right on Noya's. All right, so Evanston has a real good variety of different foods, but one of our go-tos is Soban. We've ordered from them before, but this is the first time we actually get to go to the restaurant here in Evanston and we ordered some really good classics the chapche, kimari, and mandu and I'm really excited to try it out um, there was one place that we went to where we ordered uh, chapche and it was kind of like soupy mm -hmm. it's not supposed to be soupy or liquidy it's supposed to look like this right? noodles look moist a good amount of beef in there and it's packed with veggies. One, two, three. <laughs> wow. Evanston is also home to a few nice museums, but if we had to pick just one, it would be the Mitchell Museum of the American Indian. It's one of a handful of museums across the country that focuses exclusively on the histories, cultures, traditions, and arts of indigenous people from the United States and Canada. If you have a kid, they will love the teaching lodge and the different touch tables where they can pick up and play with Native American clothing, games, furs, and much, much more. They currently also have a very powerful exhibit focused on the epidemic of violence against indigenous women, which we encourage you all to check out and learn from. Links below as well so you can check it out. We just have a couple of more things to share with you. One of them is this hidden garage alleyway that's too cool to miss. There's also this super cool park that we hope Nico can appreciate one day. Penny Park is located on Lake Street and it has all these cool wooden forts that you'll have to check out. So for our last stop, we're gonna check out Evanston Lighthouse. We're gonna take Nico to the beach because we've actually never been to the beach here. We've been to the playgrounds and we've seen around, but we've never actually gone to the beach part. So let's go check that out.
It's cold. <laughs> I can tell you that much. All right, well, we hope you enjoy this little tour of Evanston. And if you have any questions about the places that we visited, leave us a comment in the comments down below and we'll try to get to your question as soon as possible. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.